All hail the Lama Gods! Okay, Ray Lanil here, and hello and welcome to my review of the South America DLC pack from Planet Zoo. Alright you guys, so, to show off everything to start here, I'm starting off with a desert zoo. And I wanted to show you all this glorious llama, because <laughs> the llama gods are watching. Just saying. And here is the temple to the llama gods. <laughs> and over here we have a pre-built treehouse. All of these things are pre-built that I'm showing you. I do not have the talent, unfortunately, or the time, mostly the time, to build anything like this. Nothing this elaborate anyway, because I am not much of a builder in this game, just as a bit of a disclaimer. So I am much more focused on the actual animals. But that being said, there is some really good stuff in here for those of you who are builders. Like said treehouse over here, for example. And then this thing, whatever this is, it's decorative. And then this other little hut thing that is adorable. And it makes a nice decoration. And over here we have another very pretty, very tropical looking decoration that does not quite look right in the desert, but I wanted to show it off. And over here we have these lovely uh, pre-made bathrooms, which have these lovely little butterflies on the roof, and I like them very much. And over here, there is some new building stuff, which I built, which I put together in about five seconds, <laughs> just to show off what you can do on a very basic level. And this is bamboo with um, palm roof, palm thatch, and I am very fond of it. I think it looks very nice. And then over here... There is a little ruin, and I put some Indian stuff around it. I'll show you guys more of the South American in just a sec. But I really like the way that this little ruin looks. It looks like something you would take a photo with. So that is really cool, and I like it a lot. Now we are going to go over this way to the more South American part of my zoo. And over here... You can see that ruin a little bit better because it's more in the sunlight. And I think it's the other way around too. But yeah, here it is. Here's that ruin again. It looks very pretty and you would definitely want to take some photos with it for sure. And here are some of the pre-built buildings that you get in this pack. Over here we have the large restroom with lovely butterflies on the roof again. And then over here we have the small animal exhibit. This one over here has one of the new animals, the red-eyed tree frogs. And I don't know how much more I can zoom in, but there's one of them right where the cursor is. Little buggers being adorable right there. <laughs> They're very hard to see because they are incredibly small little creatures, but there's one of them. We got really lucky being able to see it, you guys, so be happy about that. But yeah, there's the red-eyed tree frog. And over here I have some more different animals that we already had in the base game. And I'm just doing this so that I can show off what it looks like overall. And then back over here we have the shops with the South American bench in the middle. So you get this new bench right here, which has a little anteater on it, and I find it very cute. And this is so colorful. It's got like the anacondas, monkeys, stuff like that. And this particular one is pretty popular. And here is the new trash can, which has like little birds and stuff on it from the look of it and some flowers. Very, very pretty. Very, very vibrant. And these tables and umbrellas are also new. These are the South America ones, and yes, that is a jaguar. The jaguar is one of the new animals that comes with this pack. And I will show you guys the jaguar in a bit, as well as the other animals it came with. But there's the umbrella. And let's see, I don't think I have any of the path down that came with this pack, so I'll show that off in a little bit here. But this 
Temple Ruin is another decoration that comes pre-made. And over here is my jaguar habitat. So if you caught a glimpse of a jaguar, that would be why. And over here we have the llamas, who also came with the pack. And the giant anteaters, who are right over here being giant and adorable. And last, but very certainly not least, my personal favorite, the capuchin monkeys. Now, where the heck are they? That's the real question. <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh no, their ball. This ball is new, by the way, the small colorful ball. I do believe that it comes, there it goes, that it comes for free in the new update that came out today, because there's a free patch as well as this pack today. So make sure that even if you don't get this pack that you let your game get updated, and you should have that new ball as well as some other new enrichment items. Aha! Here's the monkey! Here's one of the monkeys. I have a bunch of them, but here's one. Let's see who this is. This is Arturo. He's a daddy. He's a daddy to Diego. And little Diego is over here. What do you mean, adopted? That's your child. I'm confused why it says the source was a breeding program. Oh, it's still showing Arturo, that's why I'm silly. Oopsies, there's baby Diego. Hi, buddy! Rachel's Oasis Zoo. Yes, that is what this is. But yeah, there's a lot of new plants and foliage and stuff like that that came with the pack. I'm sure you guys can see some of it right now, now that I've zoomed out. And let us take a quick look over here at the jaguar habitat with all of this lovely tributes to the llama gods. I can't get enough of this. It amuses the heck out of me. <laughs> the llama gods! These golden llama statues, you can put them wherever you like in your zoo, by the way. So you can make an army of them if you're really crazy, but, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. And let's see. I want to show off the new paths that came with this. No new staff paths, no new queue paths, but we do get this bamboo horizontal path, which you can barely see against the sand, but that's okay. And then the bamboo vertical path looks like that. And now my favorite of the new ones, the gold path. Follow the yellow brick road. There we go. And it's so shiny in the light. Look at that lens flare, guys. Woo! But yeah, these are some high quality paths, especially the gold one. So I am very happy with them. Now I will show you guys what the new plants and stuff are that came with this. Okay, let me get rid of the North America tag. Let's see, the Brazil nut tree, this is new, here's the other variant, and here's the third variant of it. So these trees are all new. And let's see, this little plant here, and its buddy, and its other buddy are also new. These are bromeliads, apparently, whatever that is. <laughs> And this tree is new, as is this one. And this one, which is super weird looking in my opinion. Because look, it's like almost entirely trunk and then the branches are all up at the tippy tippy top. Let's see, and then those are not new, those are not new. These are new though. This is new, so is that, and this, and that. And that. They are very pretty, especially when you put them into your actual habitats. And let's see, these are also new. Do, 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 do. Look at the little flowers on them. They're so lovely. Very vibrant and pretty, I think. And let's see here. Those we've had. These we have not, though. 
these monkey face orchid flowers. These are very nice and they are brand new with this pack. So if you get the pack, you'll get these lovely little flowers. And we also get these little bushes, which I find to be very, very pretty, and I like putting them in my habitats for sure. And then this thing is new, which you can see here. And then this Spanish curtain moss, I think, is new. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm pretty sure it is new. If it's not, I apologize. I just don't use the mosses very much, so I'm not 100% certain on that. And the rest of these, we already had. So that's all the new plants. And I do not think that there is any new rocks. Let me double check that really quick. Let's check. I don't think there are, though. Yeah, nope, no new rocks. But let's see. Let's take a look at what new habitat stuff we got, guys. Let me take the jaguar off of that. The South America pack. We get three new shelters that are pre-built. We get this one here, which you can see. Oops, come back. And then this hilarious one that I have with the jaguars that looks like a llama temple. And then this much smaller, more humble one, which is really nice. And I believe I have that one over in the anteaters habitat. But we also got some new enrichment items, which are not exclusive to the pack. Those came with the free patch, if I remember rightly. So we got this bobbin drum here, which looks cool. Let's see, what else is new? Let's see here. These leaves and stuff like that are new bedding. So we can use those instead of hay if you want to now, which is very nice. Let's see here. Oh, a large tire. Jeez, that's big. But yeah, the tires are new. And the termite mound for the giant anteaters, this thing is new as well. I think that might just come with this pack, though, because it's only for the giant anteater. I could be wrong, though, so I'm not 100% sure. Just know that this comes with the South America pack for sure if you have the anteaters. Because this is for them. And then here's the small colorful ball, which has a lovely flower on it and looks very South America-ish compared to the rest of the stuff here. And let's see, here's the other tire. And that is the new enrichment items that we got. Now as for construction pieces, Lord Almighty. This is where the majority of the pack comes in. And I will just scroll through this so that you guys can see just how much there is. I'm not going to bother showing every individual piece because that would be ludicrous. But yeah, we get a lot of different things, including different tapestries of the different animals, and a lot of pre-built stuff, lovely flowers, a little panel of the frogs and the monkeys. Ooh, murky waterfalls. That's cool. Okay. And then these support beams for broken-looking temples and whatnot. Okay. Are these... Yeah, these are rope coils. Okay. But yeah, those are all the new building items. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of them. I believe they said there were like 250 or something like that. I'll put it up on the screen if I happen to be wrong about that. <laughs> but yeah. And now, these are all the different blueprints that you get for various different building things. And now... Let's take a look at the animals much closer up.
guys so I have heard that if you create a new zoo in South America in the tropics that it looks very very unique and different now thanks to the South America DLC so let's go ahead and check that out for ourselves Ooh. so you get to start down here in this little temple type area where the guests will come in all right, and then over here is where you'll build your zoo, it looks like. You're on a freaking mountain, basically. Jeez. Okay, because you start out down there, and then wow. Okay, you get to come up here, and you can build things up to this point here. It shows the line right there. And let's see, down this way, which way is the line down this way? I don't know why it's going so slowly. Here we go, we can still go this way. Up, oh, there's the line. Okay, so it's like there to there. Okay, wow. Alright, and then you can build your zoo in this whole area here. Which doesn't seem like a whole lot to me, to be honest, but the area is incredibly beautiful. I mean, look at that, everyone. Dang. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that in case that was different as I have been told it is. So here's what it looks like. South America Tropics. And now, while we're here, let's go into the actual review section of this video. Everything else so far has been the overview. Now, should you or should you not buy this pack? Well, you should be able to make up your own mind on that based on what I've shown you so far. But if you want my humble opinion, which of course you do, that's why you're here, I think that you should go for it if you're okay with the fact that there are only five new animals, one of which is an exhibit animal, and the other four are habitat animals and that the majority of the content is for building only and for builders. If you're okay with that, then go ahead and get it. And if you're really, really into the animals in particular that they added, namely, of course, the capuchin monkey, the llama, the giant anteater, and the jaguar, then go for it. 
If it bothers you significantly that there's only five new animals, um, well, and the red tree frog, of course, is the fifth one, but if that bothers you significantly that only five new animals were added and it was almost entirely build stuff, then I say don't go for it, because obviously you're not going to get more than just the five animals. That being said... It's at least one more animal than we got in the Arctic pack, so that's a plus. And for a $10 price tag, that's not bad. You get a good amount of content for what you pay for. But if you're like me, then you would prefer to have a pack that might cost a bit more, perhaps, but has significantly more animals in it. That is what I would personally like to see. But I do like this smaller pack as well. But if you're going to be going for a pack that is about a whole continent like this one is, then I think it's a bit strange that they chose to make it a smaller pack, because it had so much potential to be something significantly bigger. Like, for example, with South America, I was really hoping for maned wolves and capybaras, for example. But we didn't get them because they only added five new animals. So... Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is that I wish there were more animals in this and not quite as much build stuff, but if you're a builder especially, this is a great pack. And even if you're not a builder and you just want a few more animals for relatively cheap, then I say go for this. So based on who you are and what your preferences are will determine whether or not you should buy this pack. Now, thank you so much for watching this, and have fun over on the end screen. Alright, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and to use the links on screen in order to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the links in the description in order to find other ways to support me, such as following me on social media and joining my glorious Discord server, Raylunil's Army. I hope to see you all there and in the next video. 